Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Rage Quick Gaming. Uh, this is Operation Clockwork, a clan training drill, where we were practicing tactical movement and clock face defense. So what you see here is Johanna has a farm on Uster Beak, uh, with an overview by one of our umpires. Uh, the setup is currently with Alpha on defense, uh, assisted by our armored units. Um, with Bravo attacking assisted by logistics mortars. So what you're seeing here is basically the setup phase uh, and everyone preparing to get ready. This isn't a drill we've run before. Uh, we have run similar drills where uh, we're practicing attacking and defending. But this one was concentrating on certain aspects of call it out and calling out in communication. So everyone would be calling out uh, directions uh, and distances based on where they would spot enemy. And so we can react appropriately. So all we had is we had people set up in a clock face around uh, the buildings here. Watching uh, their arcs of fire and their directions. We had a, a garrison unit in the middle uh, who also had a light mortar. I'm in the northern building. Uh, we've got the MG in the northwest, we've got a medic and a radio man in the eastern barns. Uh, and in the southern big barn, uh, we had the, the marksman and a medic. And we had someone else in the southwest corner there. So we've got an overview here. Uh, we've got quite a, a good defense setup. We had our armored unit over there somewhere. I'm not quite sure where they are at the beginning of this round, but they are there. Maybe if we uh, get a look at there, they are. Yeah. So that's the armored unit is lurking in the woods over there. We're just waiting for the match to start. So there were four rounds played in total. This uh, video uh, will have the round one and two, uh, three and four, which were very different rounds. The first two are going to be in a separate video. And there we go, the game is live. So now everyone's on... Um, Alert uh, at Johanna Hoga Farm. Uh, they're looking out for enemy attack, so we can send the response to the response team in the armor section who's driving a 222 today. Uh, not the best on the weapons platform. Uh, we've got some smoke coming in there from the logistics team, and we've got Bravo moving up from the south. Obviously, uh, we couldn't see where they were coming from. All we know is there was some smoke landing to the northwest. So we were expecting an, an attack from there, however it was just a diversion. So this is uh, quite a common uh, scenario for us to train attack and defence. Uh, we work on different aspects um, today. As I said, we're working on communication and directional callouts, um, and on that's on defence and on attack we're working on uh, spacing in movement. So. So we've got very accurate multiplier coming in from the... Uh, oh, we have a bit of scoring uh, and uh, quite a loud radio in the fob. Uh, looks like Dupus is up to something. He's reassigning himself into a logistics section on the British side. Reloading his rifle there. Uh, it's a good play. Uh, pretty good to get that in range straight away. Uh, he's now leaving and he's joining oh, the command chest again. And he's killed himself. Uh, looks like he's going to zoom in slightly on the map and then spawn on the fob. And it looks like I cut the video so it goes up into the sky. Um, there's quite a few cuts that I've had to uh, do in order to. Uh, where? 
what, what's what's the status on the smokes? Where is hey, I got a two 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 over here. So our two two two's heard their mortar station and is uh, heading towards it. Uh, I do not see you on the map. Could you have? Would you have a grid? It's right on top of me. I really do not know where you are. Uh, is it on the marker? Yeah. Yeah, it's inside my truck. Somehow I don't know why it doesn't see me. Uh, but all of uh, the markers are down. So, uh, our armor section heard the mortar. And they moved to intercept or destroy their equipment. Looks like the logistic guy survived. I believe he rebuilds the position. Right, yeah, uh, heavy all uh, mortars has now uh, uh, served. If you need anything else. So it looks like uh, they have progressed towards the, the point and they're just about to start their attack from the south. Smoke out 20, minute, uh, 20 seconds. Copy. Lined up nicely in the south there, they're going to assault us. You can see we've got a nice clock face going uh, in a defensive position around there. Rounds complete. Await arrival. Hey, it's landing now. Splash. So they're starting their attack as you can see on the map. Um, sorry, we don't have a better overview of this. Yes. There you go, sir. Yep. Have you got promoted to an uh, officer there? Apart from the sergeant? A kind of corando to promote him like that? Now it looks like we're going to... Two guys left up. Guilty, do you need HE? Uh, I think we've actually got all the infantry down. Uh, the 222 is the only thing left. And we're down. Either. And that was a uh, round win for Alpha. Uh, Ripperoni. They held your hand over farm. Um, well done, boys. Now we're going to move on to round two, which is basically a swap around. So Alpha is going to be attacking uh, with the assistance of uh, Lima, and Bravo is defending uh, with the assistance of Tango. Just waiting for the light. Round to go live here, we're looking at uh, the defender setting up in Jahaho. It seems to be very similar setup to uh, the previous rounds. So, uh, seems like setting up for a defense in Jahaho is quite um, intuitive. It's a very popular point to play in the game. It's uh, the center of the game, in my opinion, Jahaho uh, in modern day. Holland, right. over is now a convent. Dutch, can you lock in on a position 54? So we're listening to logistics teams sorting out uh, mortar uh, points uh, and coordinating, I think, on command chat. Uh, yes, see, as you said, we're listening to logistics comms uh, in the command chat. They're talking about uh, smoke and HE barrages uh, for the upcoming assault, making plans with the infantry commander, uh, which was me at the time. So it looks like uh, Bravo is set up in their defence. Uh, looks like it's just 
about to go live. That's G copy. Are you locked in on point? You listen to the command chat now. There we go, we're live. So we've got uh, Alpha moving south through the woods to the east of Jana over here. Um, as you can see, there is uh, an enemy unit there. Um, we'll see what happens in just a second. Uh, look, look, look uh, where the enemy 222 was held up. And we're walking right past, not 50 meters away. Oh, we were pretty lucky. One of our guys stumbled into it, and he's like, holy shit. Looks like he's winding that turret around with a handle. No, Roger, I think you're gonna lie down and they're definitely out. <laughs> Who's this beautiful looking person? Oh, look at me. So they pull them back and they're going to try and uh, take us out. Uh, however, <laughs> Kaboom! Uh, I think that was fairly unlucky for the artifact and that to be uh, basically spawned on uh, by the attacking infantry. We were quite lucky uh, that they weren't a big factor in that attack. Um, but you know, luck is part of battle. So yeah, we're moving uh, in a loose formation uh, south. We're just about to cross the road. If we get that in shot, we're going to cross in twos. Looks like we're going to go and look at the defenders. Must be aware that we are coming from the east now as we just destroyed the armor over there. Silence before the battle. The defenders know we're coming. We're stealthily moving towards their position. They are waiting. The tension is palpable. The birds are still singing. Not for long. So we're going to move up to the edge of the wood line here. Um, we're going to set up a, a marksman and an MG. Uh, for suppressive fire uh, during the attack. As you see the second, that doesn't quite go to plan. Uh, hello, logistics. We are ready for some HE mortars on the point, please. Just five rounds, HE, on the point. Uh, what about the point of interest uh, for uh, smoke? Yeah, I'll call for that in a sec. Roger. Can you refresh point of interest? HE on 80, whoa, there's two 83s, that's ridiculous. Uh, on a Jahan of Hope, could we have yeah, five HEs, please? Yeah. So, yeah, I've been putting uh, points of interest markers on the map for the logistics team. Focus on, however, there was a slight bug, and you'll notice another one here. Just a little bit of clipping. Um, I wouldn't fire that like mortar right now. Um, it looks like it might take your eye out. You've got a guy bravely on the roof doing the little sniper shuffle. And there we go, we've got some orders incoming. Get their heads down before our attack. Okay, so we've set up the sniper position now and the MG, heavy MG, uh, light MG position uh, to the east. Right, I've outbound. 
And so yeah, they're the 580, they're just oh, gonna start flushing on the point. You'll hear them in a sec. So yeah, we've got an IMG here, and an IMG. This beautiful sound of mortars. You might have seen there, sneaking up behind us, the only surviving member of the Tango crew. Um, okay, logistics, go with Eston Smoke Barrage, please. That was a Roger. decoy, so we're putting some to the west to detonate and give them the idea that we're coming from the west. And we're going to follow that by one to the east, uh, and then come in after that. Um, but as I said, we have got uh, the enemy tank commander who wasn't actually in the vehicle, he was out scouting when um, we destroyed it. Um, so he's sneaking up behind us. I was aware that he was still alive. Um, we just uh, thought it was more important to focus the, um, the, the target. Uh, we're just getting a medic to revive the marksman here. He did get shot. Um, so they're, they're aware of our attack at the moment. However, I think with the smokes uh, incoming, we're going to try and dist dist uh, disrupt. Okay, go with the eastern or, smoke barrage, please. Disrupt their defence uh, in order to take the point. So you got smokes on the west there. The smokes on the east are just coming in. Smoke screen now. There we splash. Five smoke. Please put five HE on the east side of the point. So we're just going to put some HE here for, uh, before we push in. Take someone out there. She is still falling down. We have lost a couple of guys, but we're pushing in down. and then gets shot. So you see we've, we've pretty much taken the uh, Doom's the behind and now. They have a couple of people that's alive. So here water. comes... Uh, run, do you need anything else? Hey, uh, stand um, down. Someone's gonna come in from our uh, east and east. There he is. Roger. We'll smoke the car here. what that explosion was, but it was fine. Cover me. Oh. Moving up. I think that's going to take him out. I 
think actually is he already dead? The guy at the d barn door. Grenade out. On the other floor. On the other floor. I tried to do this now, go get it! This, this isn't just me, that's me running in there. Hit me quite badly, I had to stop the damage. Now we're pushing in, as you can see we're having a bit of trouble taking this guy out. Moving up, moving to... We got Wag there. You can throw grenades. Uh, I'm gonna throw a frag. Frag out. Uh. That's where we got a uh, 1HE coming uh, down uh, on north. Uh, okay, which corner? Which corner? Which corner? Five o'clock. Throwing grenade above there. Position, and we weren't sure where he was. Eat. Watch out. You're looking in the stairwell. Against me. He's holding his own. Uh, I have a frag still. This MG. Got one. It's just uh, no one stick him there. Frag yeah, out, so north that, north that, that north round west corner. Forever. I got the last one, yeah! He's happy with himself, very good. So that's the end of uh, round two, guys. Um, so that was a defensive win for Alpha and uh, an uh, offensive win for Alpha. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, come back in the next video for round uh, three and four, which are very different. Um, surprisingly so. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe. Love you, bye.